all right um good day ladies and gentlemen you're welcome here today to this video tutorial this was brought to you by dewpoint graphics and sponsored by dewpoint graphic academy um today we are going to be designing this uh simple flyer uh mtn uh, thumbnail design so um this design is uh very easy to do it's just by importing um the resource and then adding some other elements to it so that is it so without wasting much time let's get into it but please if this is your first time coming across this our channel please do well to click on the subscribe button and then turn on your, your notification bell to be notified whenever we drop such amazing content so um without wasting much time um let's start from scratch right so first of all we are going to be deleting this text so we are going to come to the letter editor here right they click on the delete button here so we are going to delete the text now after we are done deleting the text then you come to the background layer here you get it this double layer panel you can see down here so you are going to come there then you click on color you see color here the first option here so you click on color so after that you click on you see color here you see we have color ingredients so you click on the color right then you scroll through you scroll through the colors you see black color so you're going to select black color so we are going to be using black color for the background right so you just scroll through you see black then you select black then when you are done you click on the tick mark here right so meaning our background is set right our background is set so the next thing we are going to be doing is um to add a text right so you come to the text editor here that's the a then you click on the plus sign then you drag it here then you edit so you are going to bring it to the uh, middle here get that then you click on edit there's edit here so you click on edit so we are going to edit the text and then we write mtn mtn so make sure you write everything in capital so you write it in capital then you click on the ok at the top there you can see okay here so you click on it this way right so you're going to have the text this way so we're going to increase the size a bit like this we get that so after we we are done now uh, we are going to scroll here and go to color right so you go to color then you see colors here so you scroll through the colors you see a yellow color then you select the yellow color you see it uh, click on the tick mark all right um sometimes uh there's a time that uh when let's say you you don't see the editing features like you see when you write the text you see that you not find the editing features here if you don't find the editing features just click on the text right to activate the text so that you see the editing features so when i just click on the text i'll see all the other editing features here I will see all the editing features here. I will see all the editing features here. So that is it. Make sure you click on it to activate it. Now, after that, we are going to be giving it a font. So you scroll through the various editing features. You are going to see what we call font. You see font here, right? So you click on font, right? We are going to select a font for the text. Now, when you click on font, scroll through here you are going to see various fonts here so we are in this video tutorial let's use um uh chunk five right let's use chunk five this is a font chunk five so you come to the fonts then you scroll through you see chunk five then you 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 click on it after you are done clicking on it you click on ok right so you are going to see the text this way now after getting the font so the next thing we are going to be doing is that we want this text to be at the exact center or middle of the flyer as in the upper side right so what we are going to do is that scroll through this uh, uh, editing features here you see relative position you see that relative position so you click on it then you click on this one here right so it will position it exactly the middle of the flyer so this way 
you see when we click on it it's moved from this section to this section so if it is here just click on the middle one this one this is what i selected right so you click on it it will come to exactly the middle point right so that is it for that now let's continue the next thing we're going to do is to add a shape we are going to be adding a shape so the shape uh, you come to the character editor here right the, this one here so when you come to it then you click on shapes you see shapes here so you click on shapes now the first shape that is going to appear is this square but then we don't need square we need uh, an over right so we are going to click on this box here you see it here down here we are going to click on it it will lead us to other shapes so we are going to select a circle so this is a circle so you select a circle after you select the circle now look at what we are going to do here so you're not going to click on the tick mark just scroll down right scroll down like this you see the first option you see here is opacity right so we are going to reduce the opacity to zero right after we are done reducing the opacity to zero now scroll scroll you see what we call stroke here right the stroke stroke is here so we are going to click we are going to add a stroke so increase the stroke here right to maybe nine so you increase the stroke here to nine now you, it's because we are still not seeing anything because the stroke color is black so you scroll down and then you are going to select a a yellow color so you scroll, you see there's when, after the stroke area you see stroke color here so you just come here then you then you scroll then you select a yellow color right you see now we can see it here so we are going to hold now but then this is still not the shape we want this is still a circle but then we need an oval so what we need to do is that you are going to hold this section right so you hold it then you regulate it to an oval shape you see it you guys so you are just going to hold that and then you push it up right so that is it so we have gotten our over shape so after that you just click on the tick mark here so after that you just click on the tick mark here right then you hold it and place it top here you see that so that is it for the shape too so when you are done make sure you lock your element so that you don't get distracted right so you can just click on the layer panel when you click on the layer panel you click on the lock uh, icon to lock it so that it will not be moving right so that is it now after you are done this way so our next thing is you are going to be importing a resource right and then that resource if you want to get access to that particular resource uh check in the description below there's a link that will lead you to our telegram channel where we drop most uh designing resources right so check in the description below Right, so we are just going to import that particular resource here. We are going to import that particular resource here. Yes, so this is the resource we are going to be importing, right? So when you when it comes, you just click on the tick mark, okay? Then you hold and then you hold this section. When you are increasing an image, hold this section, right? don't hold this section or this section just hold the button there then you increase the size increase the size then you place it down here like this you see how i placed it down so this is how you are going to place it then uh, when you are done you click on this button here then you lock that one to up so that it will not be moving about right so basically we are just done with the design right so first of all we are going to we are just going to add um the statement everywhere you everywhere you go you know that 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 kind of slogan so we are going to add a text so we bring it here so you click on edit then you now before you write make sure you add some dots here right just add some dots 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 some dots dots then you now write everywhere everywhere you go right so that is it everywhere you go then you click on ok so let's place it up here you get that then we are going to uh, give it a font so you scroll through the editing features you see font so you click on font 
then um then um the font we are going to be using here this time around is roboto regular so this is it so just scroll through you see the um this particular font roboto regular so you use it so you're going to use that particular font now after you click on the font the next thing we are going to add a style to the text which is an italic style right so you scroll through you see um you see this um icon with the b here right b that the root uh, where the root style so that is the place you are going to click so when you click you see i here i i indicates italic right so we are just going to click on italic so you see that the text style will change to italic right so that's what we are going to do now the next thing we are just done with the flyer so maybe the next thing you are going to do is to add design by just to show who designed it or something like that so you just come to your text and click on the plus sign then you bring it down here right so you are going to edit the text then we write designed by designed by so that's the text so after you write designed by then you come to font so you come to font you are going to be using uh, the same chunk 5 we use for the heading so you write you click on chunk 5 then you click on ok All right so this is it All right so you, you can just place the text here right just place the text here so after that you're going to add your name just click on the plus sign bring it here so you're just going to write your name so i'm going to write dew point graphics right dew point graphics then you can also add your contact right uh, you can add your contact to it so that in case someone needs a design the person can easily contact you after seeing your your number on a particular flyer you see that so it's a form of marketing right so zero five three six eight nine thirty seventy nine so that's my contact then uh click on okay so you are going to bring it down here so you reduce the size right reduce the size and place it down here right so basically that is it for this particular design uh when you are you are almost done you are just done with the flyer like that so when you are done if you want to save the design so you click on this save as uh, button so then when you click on it you save it as an image right you save it as an image so i said when you save it as an image it goes to your gallery but then you can also save it as a project so that it will be within your pixel lab project so that anytime you need it you can always access it Right, so that is it for this video tutorial. Um, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then also turn on your notification bell to be notified whenever we drop such amazing content. Alright, so see you in the next video. Peace out.